I really need to see. P, do you have a moment? Need to talk? I mean, a longer moment. Can you come by the camp? I have a problem. On my way. Phew, thanks. That's good to hear. Give me a little more intel. What's your grief? Well, it uh, would be better Let to... Let me guess. Saul, right? You know me well. Uh-huh. See you soon. Claire. V, hey, ready for the next race? Already here. Ready and waiting. You want to use your own ride, or am I bringing Beast? Beast. It's time to unleash her. Can't keep a spit-shined animal like that caged up in your garage. Well said. Meet there, yeah. Rancho. Be right there. See you then. Take a look under the hood before we start, see if all's okay. But stay close, just in case. Not worry this will get you killed. What, today? The race? Why? I'm not asking about just today. It could be, though. Or the next one. One after that. Chew of mine got shocked and killed by a faulty toaster in her own kitchen. So you know, it is what it is. Kesra Asra. Our chances, how do you see him? Well, it's gonna be tough to beat out Luigi. And he's got Margot riding Gunner today. Right, so. Girl loves popping flats, but don't get hung up on it. Let it mess with your head. Just focus on the route, let me handle the entertainment. Sorry, you need a minute to kick the tires before we get moving. Sure. Dare him to try!
They're moving to pass. Dare him to try. Don't stop yet, okay? Move up a bit further. What for? Need to talk. Something you should know. Okay. Sit down for a spell over there, okay? Wow. Quite the view. Yeah. Me and Dean. We like to come here. Wanted to tell me something? I mentioned Dean before. My husband, yeah? Wheel to your heat, right? Sweetest man I ever knew. We were friends before my gender transition. He brought daffodils to the hospital. It's a new beginnings, he said. Were you married long? Twelve years. Dean used to laugh that for our fifteenth, said he'd finally talk me into my first implant. I was prepping some surprise. Hey, you mind if I ask why you don't sport any chrome? I love machines, V, I do. But I don't ever want to become one. Is that weird? A little, I guess. But it's fine. Dean only person who could have convinced me to chrome up. But guess we'll never know if he'd have managed, huh? Why tell me about Dean? Meaning, uh, why now? He died during a race last year. The final. Not your standard fatality, though. This have something to do with our race? Sort of. Thing is, Dean was murdered. He was flatlined by a Corpo Eagle Weasel, Peter Sampson. Exceptional walking rot. What's the Corpo's deal? Doesn't really matter, it was only ever another adversary to me. But to Dean, Dean and Sampson had a history going way back. And something happened between them? Dean never admitted anything, but yeah. Yeah, there was some kind of strife. Something personal to their rally rivalry. When Samson came first, Dean got hot and bothered. Your husband. How'd he die exactly? We'd just powered into the final straight, Samson peeling up the tarmac ahead of us. It was clear we couldn't win, so Dean let up on the chew. And then that snake slammed on the brakes. Dean also had to. He lost control. Yeah, but isn't that how this race works? You don't get it. Road was clear to the finish line. He would have won. It was premeditated. Right. So this isn't business as usual. For you, this isn't about winning. Well, that's right. Fuck winning. I want Samson dead. And this is your best plan for vengeance. Folks die on the track all the time. Won't seem unusual at all. Another day at the races, in line with the rules. And if Samson doesn't show for the race, what then? <sighs> He'd never miss a chance to puff out his chest. He'll race. Circuit champ last year. No way he'll let that go, not try to repeat. And me? Guess you want my help to zero him. Killing Samson matters more than taking first. 
We have to make a choice. Sorry I lied to you, V. It means a lot to you, this. So, yeah. Let's bury the bastard. Thank you. This... It's important. I need it. See you for the final? That's right. Till then, V. rest will stay here in camp. I want patrols every half hour, reporting directly hey, to- you're here! What is he doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend? To do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh-huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right- Got no fucking clue what's going on here. Damn it to hell, Saul! Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this! A chance at what? Rotting up the job we came here to do? Get the sense this fight's grown stale. Come on, put some feeling into it. No. This discussion ended long ago. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. I can't believe it! Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green! Felt the Biotechnica contract had withered and died. Saul insists we see it through to the end. To prove the Aldecaldos keep their word. Crop protection? Who gives a damn about crop protection? All Saul is going to prove is that a corp can walk all over us. And we'll say thank you and ask for more. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, 
Somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Let me guess. Whole thing's your idea. How did you know? Saul wouldn't be quite so pissed if it weren't. I believe V is right. If this had been Saul's idea, he would have seen it as the greatest plan on God's green earth. Bull. Saul isn't that petty. He's simply a coward. He would rather play it safe, bide his time. For the family. Is this basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes. A craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back, and drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob, also on board. Remember a while back, told me to give you a solid kick in the pants if I saw you diving in the stupid pool again. I do, yet that was before our tandem raid on the Raffin camp. I believe you lost your opportunity there. Nope. Different, Dad. Rescue mission. Someone from the family. Now, you're out to plain trick him. If you plan to lecture me, you can damn well go right now. Why well, Saul got his briefs in a bunch over this basilisk? He's afraid Militech will destroy us if we pick a fight with it. He thinks it's safer to stick with the corporations. Like Biotechnica. <laughs> what a joke. You guys would rather... We would rather go back to plying the trade we know best. Logistics. Meaning radiation. smuggling. That's what I said. Been gone for You're safe to come through. And you plan to grab the basilisk how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else? We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? We'll make better use of it.
right here in... Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the Basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job, Sunshine. Mm-hmm. Damn shorts. Pan Am's got a beef with Saul, I know. But you guys. A few years back, nobody would have given corporal work a second thought. We want a good name. We just need good gear and good jobs. And Saul would see that if he pulled his head out of his caboose once in a while. It's all too easy. Convenient to arrange. The exact tech you need. Coming your way almost served on a silver platter. Yes, Saul also claimed it stinks to high heaven. Intel on the convoy, where'd you get it? Carol hacked the Militech comms channel. Is that enough for you? Okay, I'm in. Hmm, okay. Thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy, too? Screw you. But, are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't notice a thing. Are you trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Forget I even asked. Let's go. Nobody's gonna notice you gone back at camp? Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. The better to make a good second impression on the biotechnica suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed they would not. The Raffins, what about them? You expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How's that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. You don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. Yeah. Took adjustment on my part, too. Though, uh... Never was completely alone. You had someone? A true friend. Jackie by name. You would have liked him, actually. Jackie? I'll remember that. We have arrived. Big bastard. If you like it so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the Basilisk go on its way. Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Sol would be on board with that. Are we ready?
Okay. The Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Plan to move this thing how, exactly? It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me, too. And yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. Pull it off. Saul will be pissed. I can see his face. Do you need a light? Well done. Thanks, boys. How's hey. it going over here? Fantastic. We have everything hooked up, and nothing works. Uh, it works, though not reliably. V, I could you scan it? Itself. Because I am not open to the prospect of taking it all apart again. Capacitor is damaged. Third from the right. Hmm. Indeed. Hold on. Let me swap it out. Time to try it again. Hey, it works. Thanks, V. What are you two doing? I'm finding my inner peace before the storm. While Teddy is just being dead weight. But stay out of your hair then. Well, hello there. Have you come to make yourself useful? Um, got a use for me? Not particularly. You don't really know why you're here, do you? Pan Am asked me for help. Mm-hmm. She came back to the fold, sweet-talked Mitch and the rest over to her side. But still, she calls you. Interesting, isn't it? I've always been fond of trains, and the stations where so many tracks converge. <laughs> Junctions. Yes, those. When you see them from above, you feel... Free. 
like he could set off on a thousand journeys all at once. Perhaps more simply, hopeful. Okay, here we are. Quick feet, come on! Could you help me look? Sure thing. Nada. Nada. Got something. Good job. Carol! We have a card! What now? You have to put it in the reader! Well, V? The card. In the reader? <sighs> Here goes nothing. Little engine that could. V, I wanted to speak with you. What did you want to talk about? I know this may sound foolish, because I asked you to help me. But... Why are you doing this?
I want to see how this plays out. Do you mean what sort of trouble I'll land in? You would find that amusing? Maybe a little. Yeah. Plus, I like to know you're still hanging in there. So you plan to visit regularly, is that right? Yeah. Keep my eye on you. All right. Let's rejoin the others. Convoy. Got eyes and ears on it? Yes. Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. Could still Get your ass down a minute, honey. And breathe. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. You worried about Saul? We've quite some time left till dusk. Hmm. The car could use another one, Silver. The stars have emerged. We've but a few hours till dawn. You're acting spooked. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, oh, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ugh. Was it someone I know? New. Scorpion. He came home from the war, head full of new ideas, and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. Ought to raise a glass to Scorpion. To Scorpion. 
and to Jackie. You don't talk about the war much. What's there to say? They just packed you into a panzer down in Mexico and said full speed ahead, soldier. And it was weeks talking either to yourself or the onboard AI. Drinking iodide like water because your Geiger wouldn't shut up. Mm-hmm. I'm sprouting a rash on my ass just thinking about sitting in that boiling hot coffin. Uh-huh. But you all can't wait to pack your asses into the basilisk, huh? That's different. Completely different. You'll see once you're on board. I'm gonna try and get some sleep. Okay. It'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Anything happens, wake me up. Unless you want a nap, too. I'll just lie here a while. By your side. Gazing at the stars. Is that another area of your expertise? You got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? Uh, yeah. You do? Oh, dear. That means there's a major leak. Good night, B. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? Let's ride, V. Speed. They're going faster than we thought. I don't know if we can catch them. Uncouple one of the cars. It'll speed you up. V, no coming and hauling. Take out that coupler. Shoot out the damn coupler! I see them. Surround them as soon as they're cut off! Plan, boss. 
All right, the train's leaving. You better move. Sure did. Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunk of junk together. The real fun is just starting to pitch and Teddy. It begins. What's the meaning of this? Exactly what you see. The Basilisk. All I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am! You can see them from miles away! You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too. Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine! Go right ahead! In that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be! Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight! And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. You got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was ten years old. Seems to still be in fine work in order. Everything okay? Yes, of course. <laughs> Though the great train robbery bit of this was much more enjoyable. You need me again, all you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will. So you'd better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care.
Second Amendment fans in the house? Huh? The hell you want? Is that a trick question? This is a party, right? Invitation only. For those who bleed red, white, and blue. So fuck off. Chill. Just wanted to have a good time. Drink a beer, smoke. This look like a fucking neighborhood picnic to you? Chum, you're a little tense. Something wrong? Problems at home. Oh, you're a jokester, huh? You looking for a good laugh? Yeah, we all want a good laugh, Walker. Such a nice day, everyone having a good time. Like a little 4th of July. Be a shame to tell Gunner someone fucked it up, you know? Yeah, I know. Fine. That's my tomb. Go drink, enjoy yourself. Celebrate that decent score of yours. You got some kind of competition going on? Yeah. Lead spitting kind. I want in. Shit out of luck. We're about to call it. What? You scared I'd leave you all in the dust? Do you know who you're fucking talking to? Hm? I've been deployed three times. Three! I fought on the front lines. Easy, Walker. What'd I say, huh? We're just here to have a good time. You got something to prove? Be our guest. It'll be fun. And the rules of the game? Now this ain't your average shooting match. You gotta have a good eye, but an even stronger head. Because? Because we all drink around before each shot. To Gunner, the new boss in town. I like the sound of that. Anything else I should know? Four stations. You shoot at the targets with Holt's face in the time limit. More bootlickers you pop, the better. High score so far belongs to Walker. 43 points. You beat him, prize is yours. Let's shoot the shit out of Holt. Just as I thought. You look to me like a show-off. Let's see what you got. Take this revolver. Use it if you want your shots to count. We're testing skill, not tech here. Go ahead to the first station. We'll start whenever you're ready. Break a leg.
Yeah. Twelve seconds. Go. No, 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 no. Just don't go past the line when shooting. Automatic disqualification. Stop. Time's up. Next station. Vodka first, then you blast hold a new one. I'm telling you, man. Uh, Freeze. Who the hell is this? Throw it all in the air. Shoot. You got 12 seconds. You cross that line and hey. shoot, you're out of the game. But, but I said my finger slipped. You had your chance, Rudy. Oh, fucking fair. And stop. Next station. Down the hatch to gunner. You got 12 seconds. Go, go, go! Hey, go that line. We don't like cheaters here. Stop, last station! Automatic disqualification. Stop! Time's up! Next station! Hey, hey! Vodka first! Then you blast hold a new one! I'm telling you, man! The breeze! Whoosh! <sighs> Uh, Throw it all this? off! Rubbing Who alcohol? cares? Shoot! You got 12 seconds! You cross that line and hey. shoot, you're out of the game! But, but I said my finger slipped. You had your chance, Rudy! Oh, fucking fair. And stop! Next station! Ah. Turn that off! You got 12 seconds. Go, go, go. 
Hey, throw that line. We don't like cheaters here. Stop, last station. One more round. Drink. Oh, I'm a, I'm a throw up. Oh, so warm. What else would it be in this heat? Shoot. Twelve seconds. Don't forget the line. One toe over and you're gone. Time's up. That's it. Go check your stats. Te vamos a matar, hijo de puta! <laughs> I don't wanna! Oh my god! Psycho! First place by a landslide. Here, won it fair and square. The hell? Not fucking possible. Not gonna lie, I'm impressed. You know, Six Street could use a few more shooters like you. I'm sure, Gunner'd like to meet you. Take you under his wing, probably. I'm flattered, really. But I gotta say no. It's not for me. Understood. We had a little fun today. Drank together. But I see you on the street later, it won't make no difference. You're either with us or against us. I'll keep that in mind. And for the winner, with Gunner's congratulations. Woohoo! And USA! And USA! And now, let's drink! Six Street! Six Street!
Finish this another time. We were talking about... River. B, hey. I need your help. Sounds like it. What happened? I shouldn't talk about this on the hollow. We gotta meet. When and where? Tell me. Glenn, tonight. I'll flick you the details. Will you make it? Do my best. Thanks, V. Till then. some Hello, fresh iron look no further i've got you covered
Wait, I wasn't finished.
Claire, hey. Finals upon us, V. Big day's here. Sure is. Wanna meet up? I'm already here. Yep, but listen. This will be highway driving, so we'll want a machine that runs on lightning. Your choice. Your rig or my beast. Let's go with mine. I got a better feel for it. No problem. We meeting at the starting line? That's right. Wait for me there. Claire, hey. Finals upon us, V. Big day's here. Sure is. Wanna meet up? I'm already here. Yep, but listen. This will be highway driving, so we'll want a machine that runs on lightning. Your choice. Your rig or my beast? Let's go with mine. I got a better feel for it. No problem. We meeting at the starting line? That's right. Wait for me there. How did you lose it? What can I tell you? No, wait. Wait. I know how to trace it. Mm -hmm. Don't concern yourself. Samson! This is yours! You're done, Samson. Get away from me, you whack. No remorse? Not a bit? None whatsoever. Claire, drop it. Leave the corporal rat alone. Think you'll leave her alive, asswipe? Claire! This your new driver? I'd get out while I could if I were you. Claire can't seem to keep her partners alive for long. You motherfucker! Truth is, Dean was as shit a husband as he was a driver. Head swelled lots larger than he could manage, and he paid for it. Face the facts. I didn't kill him. His ego did. You're a waste of organic matter, Samson. Your corpo trash. Got a dozen bullets with your name on them. 
Fuck off. Claire, enough. Come on. Not to worry, sugar. Do something for me, Shay B. Hang yeah. Give you Come in close on his tail and after. stay there. Bring some friends. Where did it we'll happen? celebrate. Oh, if you win today, to we gonna take you straight to paradise. Okay, folks. Get to your rings. Time to crunch some steel and bash some heads. Everyone ready? Hold on. Take the wind out of his sails. Get on his butt. Fuck! Catch up to him, quick! Samson. Claire, please don't! I, I, I didn't do anything! You pathetic worm. Is that so? Hey, no, please! 
Don't let her do this! Claire, I beg you! Jesus, Claire, what, what the fuck do you want? I, I didn't kill Dean! Zip your trap! He got himself killed for fuck's sakes. Please let me go! Talk your way out of this. What's he talking about? Does it matter? He's just trying to save his skin. No, please, don't let her! I didn't kill her husband! I said shut your hole! Claire, wait. I want to hear him out. What for? What do you got to say, Samson? Dean tried to pass me just before the finish line, but he, he lost control! You rammed us! Even so, is that against the rules? It's this kind of racing! Time to die, asshole. Wait, no! Your husband wasn't the saint you think! Let's get out of here, V. Please. Mm -hmm. All over.